All right, we're back here at the closet unit house. And as we can see, two of them are still in there. So I will not work on those two until they are moved. This one has a bad compressor. I wonder why. So we're gonna pump this thing down, change this compressor out. Here's the warranty compressor. And we're going to get this one back up and running. And this is the only one we will service in the future until the other two are out of the closet. They look like they're being stored in there, but nonetheless, let's get this thing on. Okay, we're using the uh, Atheon recovery. And the analog gauge is hooked to it. Um, this compressor is dead short to ground, so I am not 100% positive what the, uh, what the condition of the oil and refrigerant in the system is. So I'm uh, recovering to a cheap set of gauges. We'll keep our good ones over here until we decide what we're going to have to do. And we may end up having to add another filter dryer inside this machine these do not come with them normally right there you'll see one on a lot of our heat pumps so this one does not have one outside there um, although i'm concerned it it looks to me like when they move this machine they use the same one it's just old looking to me um, so I asked them to uh, I did speak to the company that moved it and, uh, they didn't want to pay my price so it was sitting right there a couple things I noticed that they did when they moved this thing was uh the light on okay nice wiring job and I can only hope that there's not a kink now I did do a pressure test up here the other day and it is it is okay Like they do use a swedging tool to keep from using fittings. So, they moved it out here. I will not service, repair, or touch these other two. But I will replace the compressor in this one. And we all know why it needs one. But regardless, um, the customer bought these units from a dealer that is not a TCS dealer and somehow you know, decided down the road that they wanted me to repair it, so that's fine, I'll repair it. But when I came up here to look at it, as we saw in the previous video, I was not willing to repair it until it was outdoors. So they negotiated whatever and some amount of difficulty and, and now it's moved. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the compressor and get it up and running. There's our little tool we use to reach right over and take those bolts out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrestle this over a little bit that way to kind of tighten the lines a bit here. And I'm just gonna heat these up and unsweat them and pull them out and set the new one in place. Um, because of these pressure switches, I think I will put some heat block right here and hope for the best on that. So let's get set up and get ready while the recovery machine is finishing out. And it is really close to being finished right now.
get her out of there. No remorse. Boy, this thing won't tighten up. You think you won't get it loose with a wrench? pounds we're just gonna let it sit there a couple minutes and make sure our welds are good we checked all these welds on the line set when they moved the unit the other day when we came up here and looked and ordered the compressor so I'd say we're okay but we're gonna watch it a couple minutes all right we have had some help of course from the customer. So there's our fuel more. It's been running, I don't know, about 10 minutes. And 11 something microns. So we're going to pull her on down and charge this thing up and get out of here. But it is in there. Everything's back tight. All the little rubber pieces, I guess those make a difference. Put the jacket back on the compressor. And get the zip ties loose off the wires we had bound back. So everything's back like it was. The fan all plugged back in here. The ground wire hooked back up, so we should be ready. Yes, I'm gonna have to clear all that because we powered up the unit to uh, rob power off of it. I should have took the leg loose, but I didn't. So it's throwing all kind of codes, but as soon as we get her down, we'll clear everything off and start fresh and get this thing charged up and working. All right, she's running. The target for the subcooling is 10. This is a heat pump. So 
so I like it right about there. Superheat is 14.8 right now. That's very much acceptable. We're hovering around 9.5, 9.6. I'm very happy. It is quiet. I'm going to put the doors back on it. Let this customer get back to his normal life. All right, so we had it on test mode cooling to uh, for charging. here to the regular screen Whew, 80 degrees in here We're down on 72 good enough all right let's take a couple temperature readings then we will get out of here